Hi everyone, it's Bev DeBono with Tuesday's Tip. Today I want to show you a quick hitch. I like to use um, some nice border punches and also some squares in your corners to make a really quick page. And you can see how just changing these colors up you can make really different pages, but with the same technique. So to start, we're going to need two and a half squares. We need four of them. And we need four 12 inch borders. Now these could be stickers, these could be uh, punches. These happen to be the Creative Memories Border Maker cartridges. I used the mirror, the new mirrored triangles on the fall one. I used the apples. And for this particular one, I am using the fish. So to start, we get four two and a half squares and four 12 inch borders. This is a great way to use up some of your very busy paper, um, especially in your corners. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a base sheet of white, usually, and I'm going to lay my squares in the corner. If you use your 13 by 13 mat, you really don't have to measure so much because what I'm going to do is take one edge and fold it down one inch an inch so you have an inch square. Once it's folded down one inch I'm just going to tape this little corner down. And then fold your other one down one inch so you're folding it back into where the one inch meets the one inch mark. Put a little tape on there. Don't tape it down yet because we're going to be um, putting our borders underneath it. So you're going to be doing that four times to your four corners. And like I said, don't tape it down yet because we're going to be putting our, our borders on there. Okay, so now it's easy to just move these off to the side and take the border that you're going to use. For this particular one, I decided to use um, the fish. So I'm going to just cut it a little bit. I'm just going to cut like three fish off. Is that going to be where I need it? Yep. Going to cut off three fish. Use the repositionable tape. And if you use it on a wax paper piece, then you don't have to worry about it sticking on your mat or anything like that. So I'm going to just um, position it near the top, making it as even as possible. Take my next one, cut off three fish. going to use my repositionable tape. We're going to put this one at the bottom. You're going to put it along all four sides. And this is a very quick and easy border. And um, as I said, and as you saw, you could really use it for anything. And you could use stickers. If you don't want to use the punches, you could use stickers if you have border stickers to use. You know, so you see your pages coming together already. Just a quick and easy, but it does lend a lot of, uh, makes it a very dramatic page. Okay, and now that when you're done, then you're going to go ahead and add your four corners that you've already taped onto your four edges. And it does make it look like it um, took a lot longer to, uh, to make than, um, than it actually took. So this is a very fast and fun border. Um, so I believe your scrapbook should be fun and done and just four squares and 
border punch. So I hope you enjoy today's Tuesday technique. It's the same technique once you have, it's like a formula. Once you have the formula down, then you can use this for a lot of different um, looks. That page is one page that's done. This is another one, great for apple picking or back to school. And this is a beautiful fall one. So I hope you enjoyed Tuesday's technique. Please, uh, if you liked it, um, like it on Facebook, and that will help my Facebook algorithm. And I appreciate it, and tune back next Tuesday. Bye-bye.